Eastern Year and I thought I'd just share with you very quickly what I have bought from the Jane Davenport from her new range. I have these mermaid markers and they are called the Sun Bleached Collection. You get six of them and the colour that I'm playing with at the moment is called hang on I'm having a look it's called Lagoon and it's a very very pretty blue these are more pastel -y shades so then you know there there we go I thought maybe I wasn't doing a very good job so I added some more color to it to you know to get a bit more of uh, an idea and it's a r it really is a very pretty blue then the next one is the green and that one is called belly blue Oh, that's not green. Let's try again, shall we? Helps if I actually watch what I'm doing on the screen. The next one is called Driftwood. <laughs> and it's this browny colour. It's a, it's a very gentle, very gentle brown. And the difference between her mermaid markers this time and the last time is that she has a clear label on them. The other ones where it marked the colour that was more of a sticker and this one is clear which is useful to identify between you know your old ones and your new ones so the pink one running behind you the pink one is called conch and it is a really really pretty pink and the yellow one the yellow one is called sandbar and uh, is a nice it's quite a vibrant yellow actually i find yellow is very vibrant in whichever medium you get them in and this one is seashell and it's a sort of peachy color peachy orangey type color and then i'm finally going to get to the green one. Oh, and i was having uh, issues with hair mm, probably cat hair so yeah and the green one as i said before is called belly blue and it actually is a a really pretty green and what i'm going to once i get it out there we go there's the pretty green what I'm going to do I think I do it next is just get out some of her old markers in similar colors just to compare to see you know that they're not not similar shades and they aren't actually see isn't that a pretty green I think so now what do I do next I think I'm going to yep 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 I'm looking for my older ones to see if I can find comparable colors and do you see what I was saying about the label? The label on there is solid and on the new ones it is clear. S oh, I don't have these in front of me so I can't tell you what colours they are but you can see that there is a distinct difference between those yellows and particularly between the pink because that is a very vibrant pink from her old one and th on, on the video it does look similar with the PG one but they actually are subtly different. The brown is obviously different and uh, oh I'm battling to find a blue because I had it in a different spot so I had to go and find the blue I will find it shortly for you there we go there's the blue and uh, the only thing I find with these and you see it with that green one is sometimes the ink collects in that little cap and when you pull the cap off ink goes everywhere <laughs> you get splodges and dots where you really didn't think you should do but yeah I'm just trying to I should have actually done this on her bigger journal because I'm running out of space <laughs> <laughs> but you can get an idea there of the difference of the colors the only one that I oh no wait no that's coming up next because I've got those inks as well so I'm going to do a bit of a teeny tiny swatching of the inks too and the only color that I have found that is very similar is this blue one and the mermaid marker the one that the belly no lagoon lagoon this one I find is very similar color but the other ones are different so it's it's nice to it's nice to have different shades of things you see that's quite a it starts out quite blue but then when you get going it seems to it uh, uh, becomes similar shade so I think it just obviously depends on how much of the ink you put on uh, and you know how much water you add and how much you dilute it there we go that's the term I'm looking for dilute so that was the blue and the green is mermaid's tail when it decides to play ball with me there we go there it's this is a I love this green it's a oh no wait no it's the other green this one is yeah similar to that one but not the same see it's a more it's a more grassy green what I'm thinking of doing is getting hold of a couple of um, water water brushes and then putting the inks in there because I think I'll use them more that way than out of these little bottles and that was fairy flower I think which is a yeah 
dripping everywhere, which is also a very pretty pink. Again, it's darker, so there's a different, different, de definite difference between those two colours, in my humble opinion. This is the green that I like so much. Limeade, oh, it's just so pretty, it's just that really gorgeous limey green. There it is, like a nice grass green. And I thought it was going to be the same as this one which is again her old collection old well I mean you know previous collection but it's not see that's that's different too and then the last one is Frida and I will freely admit that I am not that keen on Frida um, it's not a it's not really a red that uh, I like that much but uh, it's more an orangey red you see there I don't know it's just it, to, to me it's not as pretty a color as the other colors there we go We'll say that rather than discriminate against colors. Oh, and then I did purchase her new fountain pen and some of the inks. It, it actually comes with some of the different colored inks. So I put the dark green one in it and yeah, I like it. It's very pretty, uh, the pen and the inks. Although I'm not quite sure how, I think one ends up having to have like, I don't know, six and I slowed this down so you can see the different colors do you need like six different fountain pens so you can have all the different inks in them I think one does maybe I need to invest in some uh, uh, um, more inexpensive fountain pens to put a whole bunch of inks in <laughs> but there you go it's a very rough and ready display of the colors uh. thanks for watching and we'll chat again soon bye bye